Gosh and Blur is the most underrated effect in Premiere. You can do so much with it. So much. We're gonna start with level 1, something easy, and then build our way up to level 4. Level 1. The Gaussian blur effect literally blurs your video. I use a lot of memes in my videos from Playphrase, but they usually don't fit the screen. It doesn't fit! So my solution for this is simply hold alt and click and drag the clip one track up. This will create a duplicate. Now in the effects library, find Gaussian blur and drag it on the bottom layer. With that clip selected, go to the effect controls and increase the scale until it covers the entire background of the meme. Then simply increase the Gaussian blur and that already looks a lot better. I also like to decrease the exposure a little bit to make the meme pop more. Now to finish it off, you can find the drop shadow effect and drag it on the actual meme clip. Then in the effect controls, increase the softness and that looks beautiful. Alright, level 1 was easy, but now level 2. Creating a blurry background to make this title more readable and stylish. First, duplicate the video in the timeline by holding alt and dragging it one track up. Then in the effects line, library, find the Gaussian blur effect, drag it on the duplicate, then go back to the effects library and find the crop effect. Again drag it on the duplicate. Alright, now head over to the effect controls and in the Gaussian blur effect, increase the blurriness to around 150%. Then for the crop effect, set the top and bottom properties to around 36% or actually whatever fits your video. Then set a keyframe and move a bit back in time. Set both the properties to 50%, that way the blur bar will disappear. Okay. Now we have this beautiful animation, but we need to make it smoother. To do that, expand the velocity curves of both the properties. Then pull the lever of the right keyframe so that you can ease the animation in at the end. Do the exact same thing for the bottom property and boom. Now this step is important. Right click the crop effect and choose copy. We're gonna need it in a second. Alright, now I added a simple text layer on top. Make sure it's selected and go to the effect controls. Now it's time to paste the crop effect we just copied. Now the crop effect works perfectly perfectly in sync with the blur background. Beautiful! Next I'm gonna show you how to blur faces and license plate and how to make a blurry background but first, the video creator bundle. It's basically a big pack with all the essentials that you need to start your career as a video editor. This pack is worth more than a thousand dollars and you can get it for 96% off, which means it's only 98 bucks. I know this sounds really sketchy but it's actually possible because we're working together with a lot of people so that we can slap this insane discount on it. Thanks to 5 Day deal, 10% of every single sale goes to charity and I'm so happy that we can be a small part of that. Now in this pack you will find industry level VFX like the magical symbols pack from Triune Digital. Action VFX provides you with amazing muzzle flashes, gun smokes, meteors and so much more. Cinematic LUTs that every editor needs to use and the list goes on and on. Now besides that you will get access to courses from full time filmmaker, no film school and even our editing course and YouTube success secrets course is included in this bundle. The only catch is that this deal will be gone on June 13. Not just the deal, but also the entire bundle. So to kickstart your editing career, click the link right here. And now let's get to level 3, blurring faces or license plates. To do this, find the Gaussian blur effect and drag it on your clip. Then make sure the clip is selected and head to the effect controls. First set the playhead to the first frame of the clip. Then before adjusting the blurriness, we're gonna track the person's face. Click the pen tool to create a mask and go to the program monitor. Then create a mask around this face. And when you're done, go back to the mask settings. Click the wrench tool and make sure preview is enabled. Then click the mask track forward button and wait until Premiere is done tracking your face. Now it's time to increase the blurriness and then play a little bit with the mask feather. There you go! You can do the exact same thing with car license plates or logos, basically anything trackable. It's time for level 4, making your background blurry. To do that, film yourself standing and then also create an empty shot. Now in Premiere, put the clip of you standing on top of the empty shot. Now select the top clip and head to the effect controls. Make sure the playhead is on the first frame of the clip. Click the pen tool to create a mask and go to the program monitor. In here, draw a mask around yourself. Try to make this as precise as you possibly can to make it look most realistic. When you're done, go to the mask properties and click the track mask forward button. Let Premiere do its thing until it's done. Next step, find the Gaussian blur effect and drag it on the empty shot underneath. Then in the effect controls, increase the blurriness so the background still looks natural. This looks amazing, but an even better way to do this is by using After Effects. Rotoscoping is so much easier and you can use the lens blur instead of the Gaussian blur. Anyway, really exciting, After Effects Basics is around the corner. Thank you guys so much for watching, oh and don't forget to check out the Video Creators Bundle.